What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to turn on a two-factor authentication here inside of Fortnite Chapter 6 Season 3. So basically, two-factor authentication helps you protect your Fortnite account from all types of threats, and on top of that, it even gives you a free emote. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how you can go ahead and turn it on, and this works on every single platform. So let's go ahead and jump right in to the video but real quick before we do that i just want to remind you guys that i am still gifting my subscribers whatever they want from the fortnite item shop so if you want to have a chance to get a free gift from me it could be pretty much anything you want from the item shop like any one of these emotes skins bundles cars whatever you could possibly want from the item shop including the chapter 6 season 3 battle pass all you want to go ahead and do for a chance to get a free gift from me is just subscribe to the channel drop a like on this video and comment down below your Epic Games username so I can obviously add you and send you the gift if you end up winning. Good luck. Okay, so just like I told you guys in today's video, I'll be showing you how to turn on a two-factor authentication here inside of Fortnite. So basically, just like I said in the beginning, two-factor authentication adds another layer of security to your Epic Games account and not just your Fortnite account, but to your entire Epic Games account, which makes it even better. And there are a couple steps you gotta do, so make sure you guys follow along. I'm just gonna be showing you exactly what you need to do to go ahead and turn it down for your account. And like I said, it's gonna give you a free emote. So if I go over here to my emotes, and go a little bit down. You guys can see I have it equipped. Here's the emote that you're gonna be getting for completely free after turning on two-factor authentication. But some people not end up getting it because they make a mistake, but do not worry. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly what you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do. So let's hop right into this video. Okay, so first up, what we're gonna to wanna to do is just to make our way to the main lobby of Fortnite, exactly where I am, just like this, as you guys can see. And like I said, this works on every single platform. So you're gonna just do all the same things on all platforms, so don't worry about that. Now, once you guys make your way to the main lobby of Fortnite, just like this, what you're gonna to wanna to do is to open your side menu just like that. So open this menu from the side of your screen, the right side. And once you guys go ahead and open this menu, you're going to be seeing a bunch of little icons over here. So if we start from the top, you guys can see this icon that says social. And then this one right here says add friends. This one over here says looking for party. This one says voice chat. And right under this one is going to be the icon we are actually looking for. And that's going to be menu. So make your way over here to this icon. And once you guys do that, you can see these little options over here. So from these ones, you don't have to waste any time. Just make your way all the way to the top and go ahead and click on this settings icon over here. Now, once you guys go ahead and click on the settings icon, it's going to be taking you into the main settings menu of Fortnite just like this. So once you guys are over here, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is just to look at the top of your screen and you'll see again a bunch of icons. So we're gonna be in the video tab at first, but what we need to do is to actually switch to the right side just like that. So we gotta keep switching to the right side and we gotta make our way all the way to the right side. So we start from the very left, we gotta go all the way to the right side, just like I'm doing as you guys can see. There's gonna be like all these different settings, so mouse and keyboard, keyboard controls, and then there's controller, there's controller mapping, but what you need to do is to come here all the way to the right side and make your way to this tab called account and privacy. Now, once you guys make your way over here to the account and privacy tab, just like me, you're gonna look to the left side and you're gonna see all these different sections over here. So from the top, as you can see, we have account, then we have clipping, then we have social privacy, then we have gameplay privacy, then we have credits, and then we have legal. So from these sections over here, what you guys are going to want to do to turn on two-factor authentication is to make your way over here to this section called social privacy. Now, once you guys are here, you can see there are four different settings within this section. So from these settings, we actually need to go ahead and make our way to the setting called can receive gifts. Now you might definitely ask, what does this have to do with turning on two-factor authentication? So the reason we came here is because as you guys know, like I said, you're gonna be receiving a free emote after turning on two-factor authentication. But online, I've seen a bunch of people complain that they were not able to get the emote because they forgot to turn on 
can receive gifts. So we're just turning this on to not risk anything. You might still be able to get the emotes even if you have this off, but why would you even risk it? So because of that, we're coming here and turning on two-factor authentication. So if it was off for you just like this, all you need to do is to go down here like that, find this setting, can receive gifts, click on it just like that, turn it on, and then make sure from the bottom right, you can see it says apply. So click your apply button, make sure it resets just like that. And that means you have successfully turned this setting on. Now, after you guys do that, all you gotta do is just to back out from the settings menu just like this and make your way back to the main lobby of Fortnite right over here. Now, obviously we are not done. There is one more thing we need to do, but this part is really important. Make sure you guys pay attention and do exactly what I'm gonna be telling you. Now for the second part, and this is the most important part, we're gonna have to go outside of Fortnite because unfortunately we're not able to turn on two-factor authentication inside of Fortnite. So now for the second part, make sure you guys are paying attention. So this is gonna change a bit from platform to platform, so make sure you guys are paying close attention, especially console players. Okay, so first up, if you're playing on PC, this is gonna be very simple for you. All you need to do is just go to any browser that you're using. So just go to the browser you're using every day. This could be Google Chrome or any other browser, it doesn't really matter. Just go to the browser and just search up epicgames.com. Now, if you're playing on mobile, you can also use your phone to do this. You can go to the browser on your phone and just search up epicgames.com and make your way to the website, official website of Epic Games. So these two are very simple. If you're playing on console, I'm pretty sure most consoles can go to a browser, but if you can't do that for some reason on your console, all you gotta do is find a phone or maybe a computer and just go into it and search up epicgames.com and log into your account. And also make sure you guys go to the official website of Epic Games. Make sure you don't go on any fake websites. I'm gonna be putting the URL on the screen for you guys so you can go ahead and make sure you are going to the right website. Now, once you guys go ahead and make your way to the Epic Games official website, from there, now I'm gonna be telling you what you need to do. All right, so after you guys go ahead and load up inside of the epicgames.com website, this is what you're gonna be seeing on your screen. We have like a bunch of different games and stuff like that, but we're here to turn on the two-factor authentication. So here's how you guys do that. From this page, look at the top right corner where you guys can see this little icon right here. So bring your cursor on top of that icon and go down to where it says account and click right here. After you guys click account, it's gonna go ahead and take you over to this page. So as you guys can see, it normally takes you to the account settings part, but I just switched to the redeem code part because there are some private information right here. But basically after you guys go ahead and load up right here, you're gonna see all these different sections. So we have account settings, email preferences, payment management, transactions, epic rewards, subscriptions, password and security, in-game currency, parental controls, EULA history, apps and accounts, creator programs, and marketplace seller. So after you guys go ahead and basically make your way to this page right here, what you need to do is go to the password and security tab right here. So click on it just like this. After clicking on it here, once you guys load up inside of the password and security part, what you need to do is really simple. Just scroll down slowly and you guys are gonna find the two-factor authentication part right down here at the bottom. So as you guys can see, there are three different methods you guys can turn on two-factor authentication. The first one is a two-factor authenticator app. So you basically set up an app from your phone and you link it here. So whenever you are gonna log on from like a new device or something, it sends a specific code to your phone in that app and then you can just like pretty much put it right here. This is kind of a hard way to do it. We have email, which is pretty easy. You just put in your email and they send you a mail when you wanna log in to your account. And then we have SMS, which is also really simple. It just sends you a short message when you wanna go ahead and log into your account. It sends you a code from there and you just put in the code and then you can go ahead and log in. So it's really up to you which one you wanna choose. I chose email, but you can choose multiple as well. It is better to set up multiple for better protection. But if you wanna just get the emote for free, all you need to do is just choose either one of these. It really doesn't matter which one you choose, just like I said, and click on setup right next to it and just set it up. It's gonna tell you exactly what you need to do. It's actually really easy to set it up and you probably won't run into any problems, but if you do so, and if you can't figure out how to set it up, you can simply click on this how-to video and it's gonna go ahead and take you to the official video made by Epic Games showing you how to exactly set up the two-factor authentication. But yeah, that is how you guys can go ahead and turn on two-factor authentication here inside of Fortnite. 
After you turn it on, the first time you log into Fortnite, you're going to be granted the boogie down emote for 100% free. And you can still do this in Chapter 5 Season 2 as well. So if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and subscribe with the post notifications turned on so that you're not going to miss out on any future uploads from me. So I will see you guys later on a different videos. Take care.